been a few weeks since I have last uploaded a video talking about one of the indexes. Now, if you have any questions regarding anything, you can feel free to send me a message on Instagram. My Instagram name is at I don't quit ever. I don't quit ever is my Instagram name if you have any questions or anything like that. So what I have been noticing, what I've been going over with all my students is that the Dow Jones has pretty much been consolidating at about 2488 to about 22... Let's just say, let's just say 22,855. So the Dow Jones for the last one, two, three, four, five, six weeks has pretty much just been consolidating in that level. And now if we want to move back higher up to about 30,000 or so, we need to have a breakout above. If we're going to move right back down to about 19,000 or so, then we should have a breakout lower. Now we have had ridiculously, un ridiculously high unemployment numbers jobless claims, I mean, look at the retail sales data. We have so much negative data, everything indicating that this economy is just fucked. And guess what? The market is still holding its ground. You know, the feds are doing everything. I think that this market is 100% manipulated and I haven't been taking as big as trades as I have been and I haven't been trading as much as I have been just strictly because of this. I'll find my positions and I'll go in smaller than what I need. And then if I need to scale in later, then I'll go ahead and scale in. Like I'm taking positions that I you know, are smaller than I normally do. Like I'm talking way smaller than normal due to the market conditions right now. I still believe that the market should be going back down to about 18,000 or so or even lower before we go ahead and make a ride, ride right back up. But when we go ahead and we look at this monthly time frame, this is what's interesting. Now, it's only the middle of the month. The month isn't over yet. But what we do have is a nice bullish hammer right here off of the 26 day, nine day and the cloud indicating that there's a lot of buying pressure right here to the move right back up. So depending on how this month ends, if we can end above 25,000 or so, and we can close as a strong hammer, then technically in terms of technical analysis, we should see enough buying pressure and enough movement to be able to have us come right back up to this previous all time high. And off the previous lows, the low that we had, we're pretty much up about 35% or so, 6,397 points off that low. So we are just simply watching everything right here. We are still in consolidation and until we have a breakout higher, then we're not going to see 30,000. If we have a breakout lower, then we are not going to see 18,000 or so.